Hey there everybody, welcome to this video of In Overhead. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about a rather fun topic. Uh, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about zombies. And with the season, season premiere, or the latest episode of The Walking Dead being out, that seems to be an uh, important thing on everyone's mind, seeing as what actually happened. I'm not going to say what happened. Go see it for yourself. I actually have not watched it, so, uh, yeah. Okay. Ugh, oh, my hair. <clears throat> Ever have those, like, bad hair? Hmm. <sighs> Good enough. Yeah. So, the, uh... So... I don't I keep getting hair in my mouth. Anyway, <clears throat> what I'm going to talk about is, well, uh, a few things. One, how a zombie apocalypse would be possible. Two, how a zombie apocalypse would not be possible. And step three, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, what should you do? Anyway, <clears throat> so, our first, our first section of how a zombie apocalypse can actually happen. Um, well, there's, there's five ways you may have heard all of them. Uh, the most likely would be uh, nanobots. And the reason I say those are the most likely is because they actually are announcing them, they're developing them, they, they're saying like stuff that's going to be like for cancer, and like they're going to inject them into your body and they're going to be like flying around your body looking for cancer and destroying it if they find it, which is awesome. Uh, but if a computer virus happens, we could be looking at zombies? It's most likely. <clears throat> the second most likely is uh, neurotoxins. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I forgot. <clears throat> yeah, neurotoxins. Basically, they're kind of like things in your head, and like they're, they're like chemicals and. It can make a brain function even after the person's dead. It's actually kind of happened one time, like some voodoo witch doctor in Haiti once brought like a dead person back to life to work on their plantation. So I'm not sure how that would actually become a zombie apocalypse because, I mean, like maybe our zombies would do our farming for us. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, Maybe if the right chemicals got in, they would turn, like, kind of, like, ravenous and wanting to eat other humans for some odd reason. Uh, it wouldn't infect anybody, which is why it's not that scary. Uh, the next one would, would be Kreutzfeld Jakob's disease. Or, as you might hear other people say, Kreutzfeld Jacob's disease. Basically, it's what happens when humans get... Uh, mad cow disease. It doesn't look pretty. Basically, you actually look like a zombie, which is rather interesting. But again, I don't think that would actually work because you wouldn't. Mm, like, I, I I don't know if like this gets like transmitted through biting, like. Maybe if, like, they had a cut in their teeth and they, they, like, bit you and their blood got into your blood and you somehow got away and it got... enough of it got in. <clears throat> anyway, they look like zombies. That's the key. Uh, next would be Toxoplasmosa gondii. Uh, another little uh, bacteria which infects rats and breeds in the... Uh, Intestine, intestines, intestines of cats. So basically the virus like takes control of the brain and makes the mouse run up to a cat and get eaten. Like, 
people say, oh, well, oh, oh, we're just, like, one mutation away from it being a full-blown zombie apocalypse because, like, half of the human population is infected with Honxoplasmosa. But, um... Yeah, it makes the infected person want to get eaten. So, would that mean zombies would want to get eaten by us? Uh, and the last one would would be um, it's like a a fungus a cordyceps they're basically like a fungal fungal organism that infects ants and other bugs takes control of their like brain and has them like run all the way up to like a high place kills the ant and then like grows like a mushroom out of its back it's actually really disgusting you can find it on youtube it's actually kind of cool but very disgusting um but yeah it like grows a mushroom like right out of its back it looks like something from aliens uh pops and releases a whole bunch of spores and infects more ants and other bugs on the ground um I really don't know about that being a zombie apocalypse. I mean, mostly just because it controls the brain, but... I mean... Fun- fungi replicate through spores, which means the zombies wouldn't bite. It, it would just mean they just go up to like a tall building and like have a mushroom pop out of their chest or something. In which case, bring an umbrella. <laughs> uh, anyway, those are the five major ways that a zombie apocalypse could happen. Now, there could be other ways. There could be, like, a super secret uh, biohazard virus that some government somewhere is making, although that is really hard to believe. And, again, really kind of not uh, believable. Because of this next section, why it is impossible. Um... The first thing uh, would be, well, pretty much biting is a terrible way for a zombie to actually spread. I mean, really, you see see zombies, they're eating a person, but they're only biting some people. Like, it doesn't really make sense. Because, like, I mean, this is like complex thinking, which a single cell organism, like a virus or something like that, or multi-cell, or multi-cell bacterium wouldn't exactly have. I don't know if they've got like brains that could actually like process this. Um, but again, like it's kind of hard because you have to choose between your next meal and reproduction, which actually does occur in nature. There's like these little things. It's like the honey badger or something. Basically, the male copulates with a female and dies of a heart attack uh must have been great <laughs> anyway <clears throat> so it does happen in nature but not in a very effective way of transmitting a virus um the next would be the whole thing that zombies are immune to everything except for a blow to the head now that can kind of happen like because your brain has like an automatic feature because i mean we breathe without actually thinking of breathing like uh you're just walking around and you'll just be breathing you're not thinking inhale exhale inhale that was a terrible darth fader <laughs> anyway you're not thinking of breathing it just happens which means the brain can cause various uh features of your body to happen spontaneously without your uh without your conscious knowledge another one would be dreams and i mean that's a whole other thing for a psychologist <laughs> um <clears throat> but at the same time like i mean it actually has been documented like someone like out of their minds on like bath salts actually took like a few bullets to the chest before finally i don't know taking one to the head or taking a lucky one to the heart uh but yeah it's actually happened but at the same time 
how the body works is your muscles move the bones, which moves the body. Now, in order for your muscles to contract, energy must be spent. And in order for energy to be spent, there's a chemical reaction which is needed. And what is needed is oxygen. Oxygen is needed to move muscles. So, <sighs> a zombie getting shot in the heart would bleed out. I mean, sure, they could probably still, like, at you for, like, a few minutes. But, I mean, if they're a walking zombie, you could just kind of, like, stay ahead of them and they'll eventually bleed out of the gaping hole in their chest. Or if they're a running zombie, uh, that happens a lot quicker because the heart's beating faster because the, the muscles need more and more oxygen faster and faster. And... Basically, eventually, the, a zombie just bleeds out. And, like, that's a way to kill a zombie. You don't actually have to shoot them in the head. You just have to get enough holes in critical parts of the body, and they'll just bleed out on their own. <clears throat> An another way that a zombie apocalypse would not be possible is everybody knows about zombies. Like, really, come on. Everybody knows about them. They're kind of like a hot topic kind of thing. And... It's kind of hard for like a zombie apocalypse to happen when everyone pretty much has their own plan. Even if you have never thought about it, you've seen the zombie movies. You kind of know, okay, zombies, I want to be quiet around them. I want to get a baseball bat and I want to get out to the country. Everyone's got some form of plan. Some people are a little bit more prepared than others. They got like a bunker of grenades and like semi and fully automatic guns and like enough food to last 18 years. Uh, and then there's me with my trusty tennis racket. <clears throat> I'm so dead in the zombie apocalypse. But again, at the same time, zombies would die off really quickly from exposure, uh, wild animals, the fact that they're incredibly stupid, and internal bleeding is a thing. Um, also... Like, like, I'm sure if it spread, like, super quick, yeah, it would catch a whole bunch of us off guard. Maybe, like, 75% of the global population would get destroyed, but still there'd be 25% of the global population. Yeah, that's not a lot, but that's something we can rebuild from that. Um, but again, like, everyone's got the whole, like, ah, I know how to survive a zombie apocalypse, and to be honest, when... News travels super fast on, like, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and, like, the news knows kind of what a zombie looks like. Like, oh, hey, there's someone who looks like a zombie. Hey, that person's moaning like a zombie. That person just got shot in the chest 18 times and is still moving like a zombie. Oh, look, now they shot him in the head, and, oh, he's dead. We have zombies. We're also reporting this from these locations. Stay indoors. Get a baseball bat. Uh, make sure you haven't been bitten. Like, it would be contained so quickly and so easily. And, I don't know. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, yeah. Zombies would also die to natural predation. I mean, I believe dogs would get rather hungry if all their human owners were zombified or running off with death death squads hunting down zombies. Uh, the dogs would get hungry, form packs, which has been shown, especially after Hurricane Katrina, a bunch of dogs broke out of their houses, formed like packs of dogs, and went hunting for various things like uh, trash or smaller dogs. Yeah, that actually happens. Uh, so I, I could see like a bunch, like a pack of hungry, ravenous dogs killing a brain-dead zombie. And I could see it happening quite frequently. Um, again, the, the same thing, like, if you're out in the woods, bears would find that an easy target, uh, mountain lions, cougars, pumas, pretty much any, like, vicious animal would find a zombie as an easy target, an easy meal. <clears throat> and I mean, especially in places with strenuous heat, a zombie would cook itself to death, and strenuous cold, a zombie would freeze. Again, exposure to elements, we die from it, a zombie can die as well. Like, again, 
along with oxygen, another thing you need for moving muscles is water, which is why we're like 60% water or something like that. We're like mostly water. <clears throat> That's because all of our chemical reactions, our metabolism, our like cerebral spinal fluid, our muscles, like all this energy needs water to kind of catalyze all the reactions and stuff like that. So <clears throat> in hot environments, they dry themselves out and die. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much why zombie apocalypse would not be possible. But let's say in the off, off chance that <clears throat> we get hit with the movie zombies. The zombies that defy all logic, every biological rule and principle we've ever known, and behave like the movies and somehow no one saw this coming. So like, there. 50% of the population is zombies, and they also don't follow biological principles. What do you do then? Well, again, they die from exposure really quickly. So I'm guessing most people have enough food to last for 48 hours. Why don't you get some of that? Just kick back and watch a Grey's Anatomy marathon, or better yet, watch The Walking Dead or something. Something crazy like that. Get yourself in like the zombie hunting mood. Uh, create like some bludgeoning weapons. Uh, the big thing would be to kind of stay away from actual non-infected humans because as soon as people would hear zombies, they're going to go form death squads and go around killing because society has fallen. Woohoo! We can do whatever the heck we want. Arr! But yeah, <clears throat> that's why... Actually, non-infected people would be a lot more dangerous than infected zombies. And, yeah, again, they die from predation and various things. Or, actually, no, wait, sorry, this is the movie Zombies. Sorry, they don't die from predation and other things like that. In that case, you have two main goals. The short-term survival, long-term survival. Short-term, you got to find a group of people. I would suggest... Uh, your immediate family to start off with, um, if you have a church that you go to, make sure you're armed to the teeth before going on this. Be very quiet. I'd say take like a hybrid car or better yet an electric car. Those things make no noise. Uh, or even a bike because I bet the roads will be like completely jam-packed from everyone fleeing from the movie zombies. Um, but yeah, you... <clears throat> You go to some some place like a, like a like a church or something because you, you you will know that people will run to that, and you seal that off quickly. You seal it off super quick. Unlock the doors, have a guard posted, clear that building. Once you got that locked down, maybe like put a sign up saying safe place or something like that. You'll get a group of people, probably not the most athletic group of people. Um, I mean, you, you might find a few good athletes in there, some good young people to, like, swing various things. Uh, basically, you, you group up, <clears throat> and you kind of start to pillage various houses in your area. Make sure you knock before you kick in the door. Make sure you knock, because that might be someone's hiding place. And again, the humans are worse than the zombies. The humans are worse than the zombies. I can't, I can't explain that enough because we know what we're doing. We're a lot, e we're a lot harder to fight and kill than a brain dead. Yeah, that, that's, that's why you knock, you be somewhat courteous. This is the end of the world, but at the same time, you don't want to dick someone over. Uh, after you get some semblance of food, you're going to have to find a suitable place. You're going to be trying to transition into the long term. You're going to need food, water, or like a place to plant food and a, a decent uh, bit of drinking water. One thing I would suggest is find someone who's a pilot among you. Um, go to the airport, jack a plane. Yeah, get a plane and fly down to around the equator. Yes, that's kind of a, a tough thing. There's stuff like malaria and probably a ton of zombies. But at the same time, we've got a lot of 
you got a lot of naturally growing fruit, like oranges and other stuff you get. So you get like some vitamin C and you got a lot of fishing down there. So you can survive. Um, a, a lot of trees. So you can kind of like create like tree forts and basically just climb the trees. The zombies can't climb. You use like bows and arrows kind of thing and take out all the zombies. And once things blow over after like two years or something, well, you're in like paradise on earth. Start a civilization there. Why would you go back to like Canada or like, I don't know, like why would you go to like a super cold place? Because you're in one of the nicest places in the world. And without a lot of humans around, you can like clean up the place and really make it your own. Uh, you can even like clear out a city. <clears throat> but that's a few ideas. That's not my idea. I'm keeping that shit for myself. Uh, but again, there's overwhelming reasons why zombie apocalypse would not happen. But it's fun to think about because, way. Hey, Maybe you want to bash someone's head in and them being a brain-dead harbinger of death is the only morally acceptable way to do that. So, until the time when the case of the movie zombies comes around, uh, just write out your plans. It's more healthy. <clears throat> and, yeah. If you like this video, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. It's around here somewhere. I can't see it. Uh, leave a comment, um, and yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next part. Bye-bye!